That is so good. This is my first time doing it this way. I thought I would do a little seasonal festive pumpkin spice magic mind latte and it's so good. Super anxious right now. I thought this would be the perfect time to have a little chit chat with you before we gotta go. I signed myself up for a thing and I hate it. This is the kind of stuff that I avoid. This is part of my agoraphobia. I just had my EMDR uh, therapy again this past Monday. We talked about a lot of the triggers and when it all began and when did I start feeling this anxiety thing. I can't really pinpoint some of it actually. I couldn't remember my first panic attack because I felt like I've always had them. So I was like, first? Can I remember that far back? <laughs> Signing up for a class is very difficult for me. I have avoided classes my whole life. I went to high school and all that stuff, but I didn't do well. I couldn't really focus that great because I was so distracted by my anxiety. Classroom environments are a trigger for me a little bit, um, big time, like I avoid them. This is something I'm making myself do, A, because I'm armed with therapy. <laughs> part of it going to therapy and having at least some sort of sense of what's going on I actually am going as a little bit of a science science experiment for myself I'm gonna pay attention to my triggers how long do I feel anxious does it go away after a little while does it come back why did it come back what are these little things so I have more to talk about in my therapy appointment because I think we're about to actually get into the EMDR part of it which is where we start doing the eye movements and start unlocking and unraveling all of this stuff I'm going to yoga it was a class that I thought just do it just sign up for it this is the perfect thing for me to get this week because I'm going to make myself do things that typically would make me a little bit uncomfortable magic mind has returned to me not that it was ever lost but last time I took this I went to go do one of my top stressors which is driving on i5 up to Seattle the ease that I drove up that interstate I actually enjoyed the drive I was having fun I listened to music and that made it to where I can get to the appointment and be in a good mood Right now, I'll be honest and I'll be completely transparent, I'm irritable. <laughs> Let me drink this. I'm a little irritable because I made myself do this and now I'm anticipating it. The ashwagandha will help relax me, but I also wanna be present. So I really love that the matcha and the nootropics will help me stay focused and keep me in line. That is just some of the reasons why this works for me so much. If you're an anxious person, you might wanna give it a try. It's now so easy to get it. You can go on Amazon and buy them now. Mm. I really like it with the oat milk. I guess it's just like a nice flavor. You don't even have to sweeten it or anything. You could, you can do honey or something if you wanted to, but it doesn't really need it. I like the flavor of it with the oat milk and then that pumpkin spice or cinnamon on top is so good. That's by far my favorite way to drink it other than obviously just taking it as a quick shot. So if you'd like to try it for yourself, use the link below and you can get up to 56% off a subscription if you use the code Sienna M20. This only lasts for up to 10 days, so if you would like to take advantage of this discount, I would highly recommend doing it sooner than later so that it doesn't expire. And there's a 60 day money back guarantee, so if you decide you don't want it or don't like it, then you can get your money back. So we're gonna head out. Let's get in the car and get going. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, that went so well. It wasn't a really crowded, packed class. The atmosphere was very escapable <laughs> and it was really quiet and just relaxed and amazing. I really enjoyed that. I will definitely be doing that every week. I'd like to try to just stick to that every week because it felt really good. And I think getting out and just being around other people and also the girl in front of me was vlogging. I was like, get out of here, because she had a stand with her phone. She does TikTok vlogging. I noticed her right away. As soon as I got into the area, I saw her, and I was like, oh my god, she just like her whole style and like whole vibe is really cute. I, I actually said this. I said, I, I hope I'm not rolling around in the back of your video too much like a potato. <laughs> I'm hungry, so I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's and get some like groceries and stuff, provisions for the week. Oh, and just to explain my anxiety levels, I felt a little tinge of anxiousness for the first like good 10 minutes and then it just went away because I was doing yoga. I'm 
This is a band called The Jack Moves and it's like a new band that sounds old and there's actually a few of them I got from this one reel that this one guy posted that said if you like songs that sound old like doo-wop but it's current like a current band there's three of them the jack moves is one the album is just called jack moves the shala das the album i have is called love in the wind and then um bakar will you be my yellow all three of those are so old school sounding anyway i thought i would share that because i was like this is exactly what i'm looking for back i did get the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix and i got beets which i love i love i love beets i got some stuff to make some acai bowls here's the kale and this is what i'm going to make right now and this is what i saw on pinterest it was this really yummy looking kale salad so organic acai puree packets so you can buy the little packets i have some fruit i can puree as well and make these little acai smoothie bowls. I got basil, I got thyme, and I got oregano. This, I had to know. Spicy honey sauce. That sounds so good. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not gonna sit here and try to act like I'm not getting things. That sounded good to me, but these brownies, oh my God, if you've never had the Trader Joe's brownies with the sea salt, I'm salivating. Just thinking about it, my husband and I like to have, instead of a martini, ice cream, as you know, is the sober man's martini. And so we like to have a scoop of ice cream and then a little one of these brownies next to it. you just fell over are you okay <laughs> hi welcome to the next well, nope it's been a couple of days I've just been completely distracted and have had no time <laughs> to do any video but we're back and we're here and we are doing stuff people we're doing stuff I really want to get my life together it is a hot mess in my kitchen like <laughs> so we're doing a, a kitchen cleaning I hope that's not really lame but you know what that kind of stuff it, first of all it's necessary and second of all can be fun if people like organization so if you are here for that kind of thing then I'm your girl <laughs> first we're gonna hit them all because I want to dye my hair actually today as well IGK was advertising in my Instagram the most beautiful looking blonde. I don't want to be this yellow dishwater blonde anymore. I really want it to have a little bit more life to it. So I'm thinking of going of a more natural color blonde. And then I also need a spice rack because if we're going to clean the kitchen, the one thing that's been bothering me the most for a long time is that all of my little packets, since I have food subscription services, they send little spices in these messy packets. I don't like to waste. So I save them. I need to organize that because they've spilled all over the spice rack cabinet. I'm gonna drink some Magic Mind to keep me energized and focused and productive. So that is like the first thing I need to do is just go take my little shot and we're gonna hit the road. This is what we're looking at here. Look at this. It's just shoved in there and then spilling out all over. Oh, it's awful. Got this with the intention of buying some spice jars. I have a lot of these where I've just like used an actual label machine to add that effect to it. But we're gonna take all this out and reorganize it. The pantry also needs some love. I do 
on an occasion stay pretty on top of this. I just need to, so it's not really that bad, but all those bags, I save all these plastic bags from just random grocery shopping. So I do try to use reusable bags. And then down here, all my pots and stuff, I really want to pull all those out and deep clean back there. I'm a little scared because it's very critter friendly back there in that dark crevice. It has a lazy Susan. So this whole thing spins, which is really nice, but we'll see how much of all of this I can get done just because that's a lot and I still have to like go run the errands. <laughs> Today's outfit, honey love leggings. I love these things so freaking much. White tee, H&M blazer, Marc Jacobs tote, and some biker shoes. There was zero success at Target for spice racks. There was like a $60 spice rack that was on a swivel that came like pre-labeled and I don't really want it sitting out on my counter and they had a bunch of little plastic containers that you can put your spice jars in but uh, they didn't have any spice jars. So it really just didn't have a lot of options. Nothing at TJ Maxx at all. So I came to Walmart, which is my least favorite place if I'm honest. All right, well, this is my last attempt and then I'm gonna have to order something online. I'm at the thrift store. We're gonna see if there's something I can work with. I don't even mind repurposing the jars and bottles that I already have. Every time, every time. And this is why I like to thrift <laughs> because I found what I needed and then some. I got all the organization I could possibly need. I got an idea for something else that I think is gonna be really helpful to keeping us tidy in the pantry. This is good. I think we've learned a very hard lesson here. The thrift store probably has what you need. I mean, there's a lot of times where it doesn't and I know that there's a lot of things that we can't get at the thrift store, but how shocking that I went to three major retailers that just pump out stuff on the regular. That's just junk. When you can go to the thrift store and buy something exactly what you're, I don't know. I just, to me, that just is such a huge lesson. Check the thrift store first because you're probably gonna find it. And it was affordable as all get out. They were charging $50 at Target for the spice rack. Granted, the spice rack came full of spices, but I do wanna get more bulk spices and start filling them as opposed to buying the jars that have to continue to get thrown away or recycled. Reducing my carbon footprint and trying to recycle as much as I possibly can because so many things get thrown away. I forgot we have landscapers here today. Really nice that they're gonna be here doing it, but that means that my house has no free window. <laughs> So this is what I got at the thrift store. Here's what the deal was. I had, it, I'll insert like a photo or a video if I took video of a rack that was bigger. It was about this round and it spun. My spice jars are square. So I knew that that wouldn't work. And the same as the other one, there was two that I saw and I was like, oh, at first I grabbed them and I was thinking, oh, that'll be perfect. And then I realized it's not gonna work. Now we've got this situation. It has little holes. So if I want, I can um, hang it. Even if those spices were gone. So this is too long for in there. And I saw this one too, and I thought this one could be one I can set here. So the other thing would be, since they don't fit in there, is I could hang them in here and just have all of my spices hanging inside of just one area, which would be really good and actually probably what I'm going to end up doing. And then the other thing I got was this. At first I couldn't tell what it was. I thought maybe it was a toilet paper holder. But then I was thinking, how cool would this be in here? holding all of the bags, like recyclable bags, because we tend to have a lot of them in here. And I think this would be a nice bag holder. I'll probably do it pretty low, but I have this. This is a, what is it called? It's just called light blonde, but it's more of a blonde, like a natural blonde color than this. This just to me isn't, it's just not a color that I like very much. And no matter how much I've been toning it, it just goes back to this within a day. So I got that 
to do my hair in the blonde. And then when I went to Target looking for a spice rack, I didn't leave empty handed. I was going for the NYX brow glue, which is the one that I've been using because it comes with the brush. They were out completely. I noticed that Morphe has a brow sculpting wax and it got really good reviews. I looked it up online first to see and it got really good reviews for their brow pomade. Ooh, that does feel nice. Very much like the, that's gonna be allowed. <laughs> Very much like the Anastasia. Ooh, okay, that's really good. And sitting next to it was the brow brush, so I just had to get it. Uh, good morning. <laughs> Reporting to you from the planet Sienatron. I can't. We are dyeing our hair. It's the next day because I ended up just like doing all of the stuff in the pantry, which I'm going to show you, but I still have jars that I needed to dry out before I can put any seasonings in them. So we're going to continue basically this project. Alexa set the timer for 15 minutes. But uh, I got up, my husband actually is getting tattooed today. Made us some really good acai bowls this morning so he had some nutrition in him before he got tattooed. He's actually getting tattooed like right on his waistline, below his belly button. So he's like, it's gonna hurt so bad. I just wanna feel nourished. So I made him a Magic Mind Matcha Latte, which he really enjoyed. He was like, these are so good. We should have these all the time. So we definitely wanna make sure we've got the little shots stocked in the fridge. I only have, that was a five pack and I have one left because we've been drinking them all week long. So I definitely wanna order some more. Ooh, maybe I can tell my husband to sign up for the subscription. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, because then he can save. Ooh, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, anyway, um, so that's what we had this morning and it was so good. So these little acai packets from Trader Joe's, I'll show you what they look like. I look insane. Camera at VIC bowls and not at me. So this is what they look like. They come frozen in these packets and I just put them in a bowl of hot water and let them sit in the bowl for like 20 minutes. And then I did banana, the acai, I did coconut flakes. It was all sorts of stuff. So I've just got a like 15 minutes on the hair and then I'm gonna wash it out and then just kind of do something with my makeup and take some cute photos in front of my pantry because I actually want to do a blog post just about organization in the kitchen and the pantry and options and things that you can do. Okay, what do you guys think? The hair is done. It's very uh, like natural blonde. I'm hoping it kind of washes to maybe like a shade lighter than this after a few washes, but I like it. I do like it. It was what I was going for. I wanted more of a natural looking blonde that would match my roots. So my roots blend in a lot better, don't you think? And this is honestly, this is my natural hair color. <laughs> so when I, my roots start growing out, it's gonna blend really nice. Uh, but what we're gonna do, it's hot as a mother up here. See, it's only 74 degrees out, which is hot. <laughs> I think anything over 60, I'm like, <laughs> I just did my hair and now I'm going to go and ruin it. Maybe I can just kind of, I don't want to like get crimps. I mean, that's the point of these clips is they're supposed to keep your hair from crimping. Maybe I'll just do it real lightly. So let's get this guy out. I wonder if it'll be as simple as dipping the brush into it or if I'm going to prefer using my finger. Oh, yeah. It doesn't really fully dip finger. Get it down with your finger first. So just get, wow, this is really gluey as can be. Wow. I mean, look at that. That's like instant stick. I usually have to really work it 
it's starting to kind of lose the dang it it was really promising there for a second all right well while that dries i did want to do a i want to do a brown wing and i thought i could just do that while i wait for this i'm just taking like a brown pencil Clinique. My eye is twitching right now for some reason. If you saw my little Instagram reel that I did this week on my natural makeup look, I just did something that I thought was a little bit, it's not like no one's doing it out there in the world. It's just few people are and a lot of people that I know in the makeup industry are still doing old school like caked on pounds and pounds of makeup and some people want that so there's no judgment there on that. It's just that I wanted to see something different. I was craving just skin and then seeing what people can do with the eye that accents the eye without having all that foundation. I've been wearing full coverage for a very long time when I do my makeup. If I'm not doing any makeup, I would do like a BB cream with mascara and like maybe even just have my false lashes on, you know? But rarely would you catch me doing any sort of more like bold eye or even just like a wing with like some sort of blend on the eye. You just wouldn't, I just wouldn't do it. So this is just, uh, yeah, this is fun. This is uncharted territory for me and I'm excited. It just for me, it's like everything gets very repetitive. And so I'm always trying to find new, exciting for me, like things, like something new and exciting that I haven't seen. It doesn't seem like people are really doing it yet. It hasn't become like this big viral thing yet. And I get all excited about it because I'm like, yes, I'm early. <laughs> All right, so here's what we've done. We're gonna start with the top shelf. In the back, I have all of my smoothie stuff in a bowl. I also have a bowl full of cream of wheat. So now that I see it, it's out of the box, it's in a container that I like, I'll be more prone to grabbing for it. And then I can put any of the toppings back there on top of it. So that will be great. And this will be great because we do have guests coming a couple of times throughout the month. That will be so great for them to just grab a snack if they get hungry or if they wanna help themselves to something in the mornings because I'm not really the best at waking up and doing like a prepared breakfast. I like things you can just kind of pick away at. And then over here we have a fruit basket. I need more fruit obviously, or a fruit and vegetable basket. All of our vitamins are back there on a thrifted glass plate. I just thought that would be the easiest way to quickly slide. Spice rack, this was the whole inspiration to start this whole project. I don't mind that they're mismatchy. I kind of like that they look like I'm collecting various ones. I might even get a couple more, you know, if I see them out at a thrift store, I can put another rack here and another rack there. And it doesn't have to look matchy-matchy. I want it to look thrifted. I want it to look farm-like. Something I threw together in my little farmhouse. That's the vibe <laughs> that I'm going for and I hope it's reading that. And then now down here, I have put our cereal in reusable containers. Again, if cereal is something that I can find like granola and things like that, I'd love to get it in bulk and just fill up the container. Back here, we have the little containers that I can put different kinds of nuts and snacks in and then I love these little jars anytime I go uh, to a hotel that has these if there's extra ones left over I always take them just because they're so nice for when people come stay the bottom shelf has all of our grains rices and our spaghetti noodles things like that so I have them all in various containers these types of containers are so handy because usually rice comes in these bags that bust open I usually like to immediately put them in some sort of container and then these grocery style baskets I don't remember where I got them I would love to find a grocery basket that looks more like wood that's like not plastic I'm really trying to steer away from buying plastic just for my personal taste I like the look of natural woods as opposed to plastic things the bag holder was a brilliant idea. I don't know if that's what this is. If anybody can tell me if I've got it right, because I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I think I might have seen it at someone's house and that's how I knew right away what that was, but it also could be a toilet paper holder or a paper towel. I, I really don't know what it's meant for. It could be even be a wine, it could be a wine holder for all I know. But if you are looking for something to hold all of your bags and you see something like this, like a wine rack that you can hang up and shove the bags in, it's really smart because I can even 
like pull from down here to pull from up here. So it's just a nice uh, option for bag storage. I did look up this morning and there is a website that if you type in your zip code, it tells you where in your area you can drop off plastic bags for free and it will recycle them for you. I wish I had known that because I've already thrown them away because when I looked up in our area what they want you to do with plastic bags, they said to throw them in the garbage and it really shocks me that that's our solution to plastic. Yeah, <laughs> that is my that is my little pantry overhaul. I still have things drying though, like containers that still have, you know, room for snacks. I love this one. It's the biggest one and I like to put like Chex Mix or some sort of like pretzel-y kind of snack in there. This is our cookie jar. We love ourselves some cookies, I tell you what. <laughs> and then um, I still want to wipe this area out and I still need to wipe out down there. Honestly, I've lost all motivation to do that. You know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do that one but I got excited because something came and I was like do I want to do this instead these are the floating candles that everybody has been sharing on social media I like how it says romantic safe realistic that's what it says on the box <laughs> same box same batteries to these take though I didn't even think about that okay well <laughs> I guess I also need to buy fishing wire so I will not be doing this project right now you can see my light back here I have a little setup so I can take photos and do video and show you guys what everything looked like I like the hair I think it turned out pretty good I hope you guys enjoy this week with me I just wanted to thank Magic Mind once again for working with me on a little video and I'm so excited for any of you guys to try it because I've been talking about it and a big fan of their product for so long and it has really opened a door to me for having drinks that help me not only feel less anxious but stay motivated so it's been really um, like an eye opener for me that uh, there are other options out there and so yeah just use the description below if you want to check it out that discounts amazing so I would take advantage of it and I think that's gonna be it I feel like next week's gonna be a lot of fun so stay tuned for that there's gonna be a lot going on give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're not and I will see you next week mm -hmm.